wrong with that. All right, so uh, do you write all the lyrics for Gorgeous Frankenstein? Uh, yeah, me and my wife write them. Awesome, man. And um, so what are some of your favorite bands uh, at the moment? I've been so busy writing, I haven't listened to anything, dude. Um, I don't know, I like... Uh, I like Slipknot, I like Danzig, I like, uh, man, um, like Acid Bath a lot, um, I don't know, I like all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> well, um, what are some of your guitar influences? Um, I'm gonna have to say Johnny Ramone, Eddie Van Halen, um, I don't know, uh, the guys in Iron Maiden, you know. Steve Harris is really good. Uh, I don't know. Pretty much everybody, you know, like I like Hendrix, fucking, you know, uh, Jimmy Page, all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's awesome, man. Um, so with your new band, Gorgeous Frankenstein, have you been seeing some of these uh, fan tattoos? My wife's been telling me about them. I don't. I don't really look on the internet too much. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, quite a few fans going on uh, going on with uh, some of these uh, gorgeous Frankenstein tattoos. I've seen a couple with uh, the album cover, and then just have the skull face. Man, <laughs> <laughs> well, I apologize to their mothers, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, how long have you and George been married? Uh, since 2001. 2001. You guys met with the uh, WCW. Yeah. Awesome, man. And a lot of the fans are wanting to know, um, where can you buy your guitar? Um, you can't right now. Uh, I'm thinking about starting to make them as soon as I could uh, find the time, you know, get the capital to fucking do it. Uh, I want to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to just get a, a guitar deal and have a crappy guitar out there. You know what I mean? I don't want to put a piece of crap out. Yeah, definitely. Well, that, well, that's understandable. Well, um, I know uh, ever surface. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you guys—that was a project you guys did in the '80s, or what? I think it was. I think it was the '80s. And um, was it Chud involved with that? Uh, no, no he, yeah. came, he came right after it. He came right after it. Yeah. So you don't want any of that to surface? Uh, not really. I'd rather work on what, you know, have what I'm doing come out rather than that <laughs> worth nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we just, had to, we just had to mess with you about that one, man. Well, um, out of the classic lineup of the Misfits and uh, the Resurrected lineup that you're involved with, what were your favorite songs out of both of those lineups? Oh, uh, wow. Um... You know, I don't even know. I don't even think I had a favorite one. Honestly. You know, they're all the same to me. <laughs> well, um, how was the tour with Danzig? Getting out there after being gone for so long. Fun. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, I was uh, I was on a good catch when he got one of the shows up in Atlanta, but shit happened. Didn't get to make it, but... But uh, with uh, having Gorgeous Frankenstein up on tour with uh, Danzig for a first tour... How was the fan response? Good. Really good. Well, that's good. So everyone's uh, taking a liking to you guys at these shows? Yeah, everybody did. I haven't heard anything negative at all yet. Yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 well, so, um, so what's next for Gorgeous Frankenstein? What's next? We're going to um, start touring as much as we could and uh, put out more music. No. So, as in touring, is this just going to be in the states, or are you guys plan on going overseas? Um, whatever they're, you know, the booking agents uh, 